That sky demo turned out so well that I've decided to work on it some more. I'll be adding some trees. I'll show you how I got from this to this. It actually took about 10 minutes, but I will speed it up for you. It only take about three or four. For this, I'll be using two brushes, riggers, a size one and a size six. A rigger brush has much longer hair than any other type of brush and is used for painting straight lines. It is made so that it will hold more water so that when you do fine lines, you don't run out of paint. I work at this one tree at a time, building my forest. The colors I use are olive green, sap green, Prussian blue, some ultramarine, and also I like yellow ochre. As I work, I try to hold my brush closer to the end and I also try to stay loose. By doing this, you paint with your arm and your body, not just the tip of your fingers that can make you tight in your painting. As I work, I stop and look and follow my intuition. Look at my trees and sense if I should add some more, make them taller, put more trees behind. I sort of feel my way through. Papa Ledouceur, a dear friend of mine, my mentor, who has long since passed, always told me, Denise, make sure you leave some space in the trees to let the birds fly through. I think of him often when I paint trees. Prussian blue is very good to get really dark, intense blues. It is a color I use a lot. The finer lines are of course done with the number one. Think also that the bluer trees will fall back and the yellows and greens will bring some trees forward. Think warm and cool, push and pull. I drop color into the wet paint. Yellow ochre is not a transparent color. It's almost like a gouache, so you can use it to add to darker trees to warm them up and bring them forward. It will not disappear into the dark colors. Again, I will stop there for now, about 90% done, and look at it again later with fresh eyes.